What's up, my pilots? Henry Poncho here. We're back playing Morrowind. And in this episode, we're dealing with more of these Ash Zombie nonsensicals. Let me actually try and rest until I'm healed now. Can I just take a nap, please? Thank you. So it is nighttime here in Balmora. We are here for to start our next quest, which is to get the Halalu Council to elect us or to vote us in as Hortator of the Great Halalu House. So that's going to start with us finding the Lalu Manor House here in in Valmora. That's where we are right now. I don't I don't know where it is. I've never been in there before. It's surely around here somewhere. I, I don't think to be honest, I didn't know there was a Hualu Manor House here. It says that there's supposed to be Hualu Council Manor. I'm following kind of a guide to find these things because otherwise you just end up searching around for quite some time. I don't know who it is in game you're actually supposed to talk to to get this sort of information as to where you're meant to go. I don't... okay, there, are, there is no Hualu Manor House here. What the hell? Is it in, like, the Balmora district? Like, just outside of town or something? I don't get it. Have I been... I haven't been all the way up the hill. Let's see what that building up there is. That might be it. What? Oh, it's one of the sleepers harassing me. Hey, buddy. Yeah, they, like to, they like to do that. They just drop in and start saying their sleeper line. Oh, it's got to be one of these houses up here in this nice neighborhood. I didn't even know Balmore went, went back here. Holy moly, I've never been up here. Wow, okay. Is this it? Tre Tyravel Manor? Okay. This has got to be it here, speak. right? Yeah, the big house. We're looking for Neleno Devayan. Uh, she is going to hopefully direct us to the six counselors. I could kill that one. Ah, there you are. are nice eyes. Oh my god. Like hourglass shaped pupils. I am Neleno Dorvayan. I keep business going here in Balmora while the Hlalu counselors, counselors are away, which is most of the time. Okay. What counselors? Here's a recent edition of the Yellow Book of the Great House Lalu. It lists the current Lalu counselors and their residences. I might tell you more for a small consideration. Alright, here's 50, 50 gold pieces. Pretty cheap compared to the other people I've bribed recently. The one you should speak with is Crossius Curio. His manor is in the Hlalu Plaza in Vivect. One of the Hlalu counselors... Uh, of the Vladu counselors, he's the most likely to listen to your requests, whatever they may be. Oh, all right. Well, let's go find Crassius Curio in Lalu Plaza in Vivek. Is there Vivek. something you need? Here we are, just getting off of the little uh, gondola. This is Lalu uh, Canton, well, I think they're called. Now, I I think that Crassius Curio is in the lower section of this in his manor. They all live in manors, man. There's all these rich folks. We're looking for Curio Manor. Waste works. We'll work our way around. I don't know where you would hide a manor house in one of these things, though. It seems a bit strange, because these cantons don't seem designed for that. There's somebody's house. Sure. There's a nice shiny ordinator. Aerodil. Alright, I'm listening. Jeez, the mods have done something weird to your face. The treasury. It's the Hlalu treasury, at least, so we know we're relatively near where we need to be. Hey, this is a nice little area down here. There's the temple. Hello, short dude. If I can help oh my god, it's Fargoth! No, I'm just kidding. It sounds just like him. Uh, okay, so he's not there. I don't think I want to go down into the canal works. I'm pretty sure that's not going to be where he will be. He's a counselor. He's not going to be living down at the bottom. The Elven Nations Corner Club. So I should I should explain a little bit here that I somehow managed to go all the way up to the top without going up a whole lot of stairs. That's really weird. Let's go out to the plaza. I should explain how the three houses work. I never really brought it to light because it wasn't that relevant for... Or not too relevant for Lalu's or for Redoron's quest to become their Hortator. But, oh, there it is. See, it says downstairs, but this is up at, this is at the top. I don't know. Redoran is the house for warriors, typically. Halalu is the house for thieves, and Telvani is the house for mages. 
And that's just a general sense. You, you can really join any of them. Uh, although I don't know if you could join Wealth all at once. It might not work out very well for you. But they do have requirements for about you, advancement that Go might ahead. be difficult to meet if you aren't the right type of character. What's this about? You're Crassius Curio, eh? Yes, I'm Crassius Curio, but you can call me Uncle Crassius. Alright, let's go ahead and get Uncle Crassius in a good mood. Oh, good lord! Your manner is offensive, Dark Elf. I must object. Okay, he wants more than a... <laughs> You're too kind, Poncho. I can't refuse such a friendly jester. Okay. He's above 70. Let's see what we can talk to him about. Lalu Hortator. A Hortator is a great house war leader, and its ancient tradition seldom invoked in modern times. Uh, I would... Uh, how are they chosen? As far as I can tell, uh, as far as I can recall, every one of the counselors must vote to choose a Hortator, and the vote must be unanimous. There, there must be some situation requiring a war leader, of course, and a worthy candidate who can perform a Hortator's duty. A Hortator is a champion who leads by inspiration. He challenges opposing heroes in single combat. He goes on long, desperate quests. He goes alone into the citadels of the enemy. He confronts the dangers no one else in the house is strong enough or courageous enough to face. I'm going to get you to open your eyes for me. There we go. Alright, let's talk about the Hortator again. I would like to be one, please. You want to be Hortator? A pity! Orvis Dren does not want you to be Hortator, and very few counselors will be willing to risk Ser Dren's disapproval. But your eloquent passion and your exquisite vulnerability moves me to risk all and defy Orvis Dren. Yes, sweetie, I will name you Hortator. <laughs> sweetie? But I have something to ask of you. Will you give me a, a kiss? What? What? Um... <laughs> oh, alright! <laughs> ah, wow. Look in those deep, deep loving eyes. How tender and thoughtful. You've made me the happiest fellow in Vivek. And now, Pumpkin, it's time for your gift. Oh, God. <laughs> the things I do to save the world. And I have just what you want. In the, my formal capacity as Counselor of House Lalu, I'll give you my vote for the title of Hortator. Perhaps I can also give you a little suggestion? I'm sure you can persuade Drambero to support you as Hortator, if you can find him. <laughs> oh, oh, that's a vote of confidence, alright. Orvas Dren has Devena Ules and Velanda Omani in his pocket. You might want to make a little trip up to the Dren plantation before talking to them. And then there's Yingling Half-Troll. What about him? He's a foreigner like me, but he simply doesn't understand the Dunmer like I do. If you were to, dis to dispose of him, the other counselors would not be upset. If you, if you kill any of the rest of us, of course, it's a different story. He lives in Yingling Manor in the St. Olm's Canon. Hmm. Okay. So, where's Dram? He's very secretive. He lives somewhere in Vivek. That's a huge city! There's no way! Ugh, alright. Let's start with Half-Troll. He lives in Yingling Manor in St. Olm's Canon. See you later, sweetie. This Dumber's just like, oh my god, is that, oh did he just, did he just bribe himself to being Hortator by kissing Crassius? That's pretty effed up. On a side note, uh, this Crassius guy is, is well known <laughs> in, can I, can I just look around to see if he has it here? I don't know if he's got it on his person or, ah, oh, he doesn't look like he has one around here. Maybe it's out in, on the main area, on a bookshelf. I don't know, this guy is actually a noted author. Uh, Chris, this Crossius guy. Like very good company. Yeah. Oh. Now you're just being rude. Uh, <laughs> he wrote the. Uh, oh, not giving me the, the name of the book. Damn, it just slipped my uh, mind. It just. It just. Uh. Something about. No, no, I can't remember it. Okay, the the lusty Argonian maid. He wrote the lusty Argonian maid. I cannot remember the name of that book for some reason. It just totally slipped out of my head. Yeah, so his uh, conduct is not exactly surprising. Okay, I want to go down. Can I just? I'm just gonna fly. I don't. I don't know how to get around this friggin' city, man. Vivek confuses me. Okay, so which way is Saint Alms? <laughs> Let's go find it. It's this. This one down here. Meet you inside. <laughs> Wait a second. Hang. Hang on. Hold the phone! <laughs> what? Excuse me, sir. What the hell do you think you're doing? <laughs> There's no way you're fishing from all the way up here. <laughs> that is... <laughs> I've never seen anything quite like that.
Here it is, St. Olms. It's, it's way down here next to the temple. You can see the Ministry of Truth over there. So we need to find that manor. I'm going to guess that Yingling Manor is up here. I keep saying it Yingling like the beer. I'm not sure if that's how that, that name is actually pronounced. Norms, St. Olms Upper North 1. Sounds like an address. It's, it's, you know, it's one north. Here we go. Yingling Manor. So this guy apparently we can dispose of, should we so choose, but... Um, it's not my natural response. Uh, come on, then. Say Stay something or move on. Where are you, Mr. Yingling? Yingling Manor Basement, lock level 85. Are you serious? I mean, I can open that, but it'd be kind of a pain. What say you? look around a little more, at least. Oh, here you are. I don't need don't to Don't stand about. Don't stand about. Stand about what? Let's see. You got a bunch of stuff around. It's always good to take a look around before you start. What do you got in these drawers? They all have nice jewelry and stuff. Man. I need to get me some fancy jewelry. I thought there was supposed to be something hidden in here. Like a key on top of his bookshelf or something. Maybe I misunderstood. Anyway. <laughs> yes, smell your armpits in shame. Let's see. Hello there, Mr. Half Troll. So let's see. I uh I'd like to be Hortor, please. What a touching story. But if you don't have two thousand Drakes, you won't get my vote. You serious? Fine. Take the money. Pleasure doing business with you, Pancho. And I'm a man of my word. You got my vote for the office as Hortator of House Slalu. Once you got everyone's vote, talk to Crassius Curio. Alright, that was easy. It would be a little more exciting if... I think this guy you can actually blackmail if you break into his basement and find some papers of his. That might be interesting to see, actually. Can I... Nah, it's too long ago. Alright, yeah, but that, that's, that's the alternative here. If you don't have 2,000 drakes, is you can attempt to break into his basement and find his papers, and then it'll reveal something negative, you know, put him in a negative light, and you can blackmail him into supporting you instead. Okay, so who's next? Let's, let's try and find this... Hmm. Where's the yellow book? I supposedly received the yellow book that talks about all the counselors. Here it is. Dram Barrow. Yeah... Supposed to be no of no fi gentleman. Uh, that's nice. He's a free trader, gentleman of no fixed residence. <laughs> wow. Okay. I'm just gonna have a look around. I know he's in this canon somewhere. I'm not actually supposed to know that, but I've looked it up. He's somewhere in this canon. I'm gonna try. Him. Hello, there it is. Yes, this is it. He's in the haunted man. Where where else could he be, right? If you're, if you're searching around Vivek, you're trying to find some someplace somebody could hide. Honestly, my first thought would be the canal works. So I'm kind of surprised he's not down in the canal works. And it is a bit creepy in here. Wow. <laughs> hey, let's, I know. Let's go in the basement. Oh, it's locked. <laughs> I just turn around like I can't like I can't open that lock. There might be a key up here, you know. Try and play smart. I don't need to use up my magicka unnecessarily. But it seems like I'm going to need to open this one. So let's do it. I love that I have a 100% chance to cast this. That's beautiful. And, hey, it doesn't look so haunted down here in the basement. All the candles are lit. Nice. Ah! You look... Head on. I don't know, okay, you're not who I'm looking for. <laughs> he looks... He looks important, but I guess I was wrong, because he didn't have a shirt on or anything, and he's just standing out there. There you are, Mr. Dram. Or Mr. Barrow. I take precautions to ensure that I am not found easily. I see we'll have to take more precautions, but what can I do for you? I'd like to be, uh, oops. I'd like to be Hilalu Hortator, please. You have found me, and that means you're resourceful. Yes, I will vote for you as Hortator, but my vote alone means nothing. Yingling is a fool. You may bribe him or kill him. Crassius Curio is a man of passion and can be, can be manipulated. Oh, I know. But with Velanda and Nevena, uh, but they're, they're Orvis Dren's creatures, and they will do nothing without his approval. Hmm. He has a net rats and the Skating Idols. I think it's time we paid a visit to Orvas Dren. I'll meet you guys at the Dren Plantation, northwest of Vivek. Looks like the home of a Halalu counselor to me. Here it is, Dren's Villa, in the, on the Dren Plantation. I assume he lives in here. Let's go see if we can find this guy. Why are you carrying a Daedric shield and <laughs> shirtless? It's, no, it's weird. Weird people around here. Morwind is a game full of strange people. That much is for sure. Is he going to be upstairs or downstairs? Hmm. Upstairs is storage. I guess that makes sense. It keeps this stuff dry. Did he move? Yes, he did. Throw me off a little bit there, mate. 
It's locked. Okay, maybe you can tell me where I can find this guy. He has a ranch. Yes, I know. I'm on the ranch. Dude, are you serious? Maybe he's over here in, like, the business office or something. Guard house. Also possible, I suppose, or he may just be in his locked basement. Why do they have such weird floor plans, man? It's inefficient. Inefficient. Excuse me, miss. Why are you sweeping the floor without a shirt on? In fact, why does nobody in this house have a shirt on? This is just weird. There you are, up on the top floor of your villa. Don't waste your time. Go away. You waste your time. Go away. Orvastren. I'd like to be Hortor, please. So you want to be Hortor of House Lalu, and you've come to me. You show unusual wisdom for an outlander. But what's the title of Hortator worth to you? Why do you want to be Hortator? Hmm. I, uh... I want to tell my story. Oh, it's the worst story he's ever heard. What makes you think I care about these prophecies? If you're the chosen one, why have you come to me? Why aren't you Hortator already, eh? I believe you've wasted enough of my time. Aw, dude. Let me, uh, give you some money. How about another thousand gold? Let's try this again. Ooh, more options. Ah. Ah. No, none of these really work. Never mind. I didn't I didn't say anything. Let's try this again. Hmm, I don't Oh, I'm I'm confused. Oh, here we go. To is it this it? To defeat Dagather and protect Morrowin from the Empire. Sure. I have long believed it was a mistake to turn from the old gods. Perhaps Azura is with you after all, and perhaps not. I will tell you that I have spoken with Dagother. He promised me the same thing, that he will drive the foreigners from our lands. But I am not one to ignore opportunity, nor am I one to be troubled by rubbing two sides of a coin. If you are a dark elf of your word, I am your ally. I, <laughs> I will tell Valanda Omani and Nevena Ules to support you as Hortator of House Solalu. Hmm. I guess I have his vote then, right? Is that what that means? So did so did he vote for me? There you go. Yeah, I give you my full support. Great, cool. You don't want to pick the option where you say you want to just kill Degather and bring peace to Morrowind because he's at that point, like he says, he's allied. That guy is actually a real nasty dude. Uh, he's involved in a lot of bad stuff, in the, as far as uh, the evil factions are concerned. So we're gonna head east now and try and find the next council woman who lives, I think, out on a. On a plantation, maybe? Anyway, I'll go find her. But yeah, Orvis Dren is uh, a real bad dude in, in charge of a couple of the... Well, first off, he's a counselor of House Hulalu, the House of Thieves. He's also involved in, Kamana, in the Kamana Tong. And then, who else? Which is like the gangsters of Morrowind. And then he, and then he allies himself with Dagother, you know, at the first possible opportunity. Of course, then he turns right around and allies with you as soon as you say that you're going to drive the foreigners from Morrowind. Then again, that is sort of the role of the Nevadin, isn't it? Well, it makes sense. We've arrived now at Ules Manor. It's uh, just here on the map. You can, here is Dren Plantation, by the way. I never pointed that out. So that's where you can find these two counselors. Let's go on inside and see if we can convince her. Shouldn't be hard now that we have or Orvez Dren on our side. Apparently, th these two ladies are under his, f under his thumb, so they should agree quickly. Hello? Are you her? No, you're not even a Dunmer. <laughs> you're not even a candidate! Okay. Let's continue up the stairs here. You look like you might be important. There you are! Hello, Nivena. Can Outland. I speak to you, please? What do you want? I've just heard the news, Pancho. Congratulations on your uh, negotiations with Orvas Dren. What can I do for one as influential as yourself? I'd like to be Hortator, please. Oh! Uh, oh, yes, yes, uh, Sir Pancho. The Hortator thing, right. They said if I knew what was good for me, I would do as you asked. So, you want to be a Hortator? I make you a Hortator. I vote for you. That's all I have to do, right? Once all the counselors agree, make sure you see Crassius. <laughs> Thanks. That was easy. She was the easiest so far. I don't know what this Dren guy did to get these two people, the other two counselors, so terrified of him. But uh, I suppose we'll eventually find out in other quest lines when that time comes. Now let's proceed to find the, the uh, final counselor. I believe she lives over here somewhere. Wow. I was walking up to this plant from the bridge over here and just thought, that plant looks so much like those plants in Spyro, 
uh, I guess the very first Spyro game, the ones that pop up out of the ground, lunge forward, and try and eat you. Looks just like them, man. Kind of scary. Here we are at Omani Manor, just down here on the coastal region zone over there. Coastal region zone. How articulate you are, Pancho. Wow, this is a very similar house to the one that her friend lives in. It's almost like they didn't really know how to differentiate these two. You're not who I want. Venom? Any, any relation to the Rhetoran, Rhetoran Counselor? Wealth beyond me. measure. It's a real nice thing to say to an outlander. Thank you very much. There you are, Valanda. Of course, Poncho. Whatever you want. I'd like to be Hortador, please. Yes, of course. You wish to be named Hortador of House Lalu? No sooner said than done. You will, of course, need to receive information from the other Halalu counselors, but I have every confidence in your ability to persuade them. Once all the counselors agree, speak with Crossius Curio again, and he will give you the belt of the Hortator. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, thanks. I believe she now supports me. <laughs> she seems very anxious to please me. I now have her vote for Halalu Hortator. That makes all six. I'm going to meet you guys back in Vivek, and we'll I've speak to about you. the old author himself one more time. Here we are, back at Curio Manor in Vivek's Halalu Canton. Let's go find the old dog himself. See if we can't finish off this Hortator quest. Hello, good sir. Pleasure. Please, go ahead. I'm all in. I do believe I, fulfill, I now fulfill the requirements of Hortator. All the counselors agree? Splendid! I'm so happy for you. What an honor. But it's no more than you deserve, Kumpkin. And now I have a little treat for you. It's the belt given to the Hortator of House Lalu. Just snug it around that supple little waist. Now I know you've important things to do, but don't be a stranger. Don't neglect poor, lonely Uncle Crassius, you devoted admirer. <laughs> oh boy. Yes, and so with that uh, sordid conversation, we now have... Actually, it was more of a lewd Please conversation speak. than a sordid one. Either way, we've now got the belt of the Hortator, if I can find it in my mess of an inventory. Here we go. Fortify Magicka, 20 points on self. What does my current belt do? Not diddly, I'm wearing the belt of the Hortator from now on. Cool. Another 20 points of Magicka. Can't be bad. Alrighty then, so that's all for this episode. We have now become Redoran Hortator and Halalu Hortator. Uh, and let me tell you, the Nerevarin quests are considerably less tedious, so... In the next episode, we are going to go and try and become the Telvanni Hortator, and then it'll be on to the Urshalaku and other uh, Ashlander camps to try and become their Nerevarin. So we'll be able to fulfill... Hopefully in the next episode, finish the fourth trial, and then in the few after that, start working on the fifth trial. And from then on, it's just the final assault and the final battle and all that stuff. So we're getting close to the end, my friends. So stay tuned. See you guys next time on Let's Play Morrowind.